Okay, hello, I'm Anastasia Guy from Kilkea Castle and we're making today a peanut and chocolate yola log for the tasty kilder. So and let's we start. So first what we start, we start from the sponge. So we place your whites, sugar, and I mix it. Well, this is well. This is doing so. This gonna start from the cream. We will put chocolate and butter over the bar marine, and we gonna melt it. And then another pot. We gonna do the cream, peanut butter, maple. So we place maple syrup into it. Peanut butter. And the uh, cream, which one I already pre-weighed up. So we place 200 milliliters of the cream and melt it all that together. our yolks So we put yolks in a white, following cocoa powder. And we fold the king gently. So then we spray that on the tray. Okay, we spray that off. and we put that in the oven for 20 minutes. So next is our peanut butter cream, which one is melting. Okay. So this one should cool down. So while this is cooling down, so here is the four gram 400 grams of cream. So we wipe down until it's double size and soft pea cream. So I have pre-done our peanut, peanut butter mixture, which one we're gonna whisk with the cream. So its consistency should be thick and nice, like a caramel and peanut. When the cream is semi-hard, so we adding our peanut butter mixture into it. Is that into it?
and gently on low speed whisking in and whisk that gently to combine all our mixture and the cream. Yeah. Oh, our cream is ready. So it's nice and fluffy, moussey cream. Okay. So, and this is our cream. I put it earlier in the piping bag. So that is our sponge. Uh, this is pre-made sponge, which one was for 20 minutes and 180 degrees on the fan. So now we're gonna cut it off half. So from one recipe, you will get uh, two logs. So we take a half. We have our baileys. We're gonna soak our sponge with the baileys. It really depends who loves stronger taste, so you can put more. And the sponge is very dry and taking a lot of moisture in, so as much as you put on it, then gentle and soft will be your look. Yeah. So there is the cream we've done earlier in the peanut butter cream. So more important, when you do the first layer, it's very easy. You pipe it in. You do the gap. I'll explain you why. You do the gap. When you're gonna roll it, your cream will stay nice and equal all over and your spiral will look really good. So uh, really important when you take your sponge out, do not take paper out it because your paper will be your little helper when you're gonna roll it. Okay? So now very important, you see my, my paper is still there. So I'll take a little bit of the paper out, just a little bit and still hold in it, yeah. Yeah. And then I take a little bit out, yeah. And then I roll it. it seems like a sushi. Now you do the shape all equal with your paper. Paper, it's really help you. Then on the end, you take it. Yeah. Okay. You put it on. So remember the cream we were putting on the bad marine, I have that already in the piping bag with the nozzle. But if you have no nozzle, you just can use the piping bag. I'll show you why. So then we start to decorate our lock. By starting always from the middle. Now I show you the trick, you see the fork? So you can use that as equipment for your decoration. So how they look at tree. So you can bake a tree, you use this side and you can use this side as well. Yeah. Okay.
So now we're gonna decorate it. I have pre-done in a piping wax icing sugar with the coloring. So here you can use your imagination, whatever you like. You can do the Christmas trees or snowflakes. So I have a magic powder, which one you can get in any pastry shops. That's the uh, dust. Okay. I have a final product as well. Yeah. 